Bonjour, in this uh, lesson we are going to see about more about the object pronouns following the first lesson you already have on my website in frenchspanishonline.com. Let's start with first the pronoun en. How to use it in French? Well, you already know uh, things about it. We mainly use en with verbs followed with the preposition de or du for the masculine form, de la or de, the plural. Let's take some example, and you are going to remember all that. Il veut, he wants, with four different examples. Il veut du gâteau, so some cakes or just cake. De la tarte, feminine word. De l'eau, another feminine word but starting with a voile. And des pommes for the plurals. So, if now you want to replace the noun, gâteau, tarte, au pomme, with a pronoun, here, following the rule, you are going to use the pronoun en, because we've got a prepositional verb using de. So, the first example, il veut du gâteau, becomes, il en veut. And, of course, the following examples are the same, il en veut, four times. And to understand what en means here, of course, you need the context. As you can see, en means gâteau or tarte or eau or pomme. And can be used for masculine, feminine, singular or plural words. It also works with indefinite articles. For example, il veut un gâteau, so he wants a cake, one cake. Or il veut une pomme, for a feminine example. The first one, il veut un gâteau, it is, il en veut un. In this case, you need to add here the indefinite article un. Il en veut un. And un, it's masculine because gâteau, cake in French is also masculine. So now you understand how we are going to translate and replace the word pomme in the second example because pomme is feminine. So we'll have, elle en veut une, and in this case, with the defin indefinite article, une, because pom is feminine. Okay? So, when we have some cake, some uh, tart, some, uh, some pie, some uh, water, etc., just, il en veut. But when we have an indefinite article, you need to add it at the end of your sentence. Let's see some... Uh, specific things. For example, tu as des frères. Here you want to say that yes, you've got uh, three, four, etc. So you need to add a uh, number. You can say this way. Oui, j'en ai trois. So you've got j'en ai en to replace here frère. And you can just add trois, the number at the end. Oui, j'en ai trois. Il aime parler de son travail. Well, here we have a greater sentence, a greater part here, de son travail, and it could be uh, bigger if you want, but just because you've got here de, you can use en, il aime en parler. Il aime parler de son travail, il aime en parler. Let's see now another example using this uh, pronoun le, la, les, and we use it with definite things. Il veut, let's take some examples. Il veut le gâteau, so this time he wants the cake, la tarte, l'eau, les pommes. So here you understand that it is a definite article. We know about what we are speaking. Il veut le gâteau, so le is masculine, so you understand that we are going to replace gâteau with the pronoun le and il le veut. Il veut la tarte, la tarte is Feminine, so, il la veut. L'eau is also feminine, so, il la veut. And pomme, this time it is plural, il la veut. Just that, okay? And of course, it is like that because it is a direct object. Il veut le gâteau. There is no preposition here. And if you want to use now some adjective, possessive adjective or demonstrative, son gâteau, cette pomme, well, it is the same thing. Il veut son gâteau, il le veut. Il veut cette pomme, il la veut.
So it works with all kind of definite articles. J'ai mangé un gâteau. So if you want to replace un gâteau, you remember the first part. J'en ai mangé un. But now, see the difference. J'ai mangé ce gâteau, so this cake. Je l'ai mangé. In this cake, because it's definite, we need a definite article or the pronoun L apostrophe here before the, the auxiliary verb starting with a voile. Okay? J'ai mangé, j'en ai mangé un. Je l'ai mangé. And the negative form is il ne le veut pas or il ne lève pas. As you can see here, the pronoun is stick to the verb and the first part of the negative form is before. So ne pas and in the middle we've got le veut or here les veut. Lui, le, the third part, if we want to speak about our pronouns, this time it works with prepositional verbs, so it is indirect object, and for people or animals, but not for things. Let's see some examples. Il écrit, écrire, to write, in French, is a prepositional verb, because we write to, écrire à, and we are going to take four examples. Il écrit à son frère, so he is writing to his brother. À sa sœur, sister, à ses amis, friends, and ses amis, feminine form. So in this case, we are going to use lui and leur to re replace frère, sœur, ami, and ami. So the first example, il écrit à son frère, il lui écrit. Lui, it is indirect here, it's not direct. So that's why it also works for feminine words, il lui écrit. We've got sir, which is feminine, but you can use he, il lui écrit, because it's a rule with indirect object. Il écrit à ses amis, so the plural, il leur écrit. And again, feminine example, the same thing, il leur écrit. And again, it works with people and animals. Il téléphone, téléphoner, so to phone is also... Uh, uh, indirect uh, a prepositional verb in French because we say uh, téléphoner à so we've got here à son patron for example his boss or à sa femme his wife and you can replace patron now with the pronoun lui il lui téléphone and the same thing for femme il lui téléphone ok Il ne lui écrit pas is the, femi the negative form, and again, as you can see, the pronoun is stick to the verb, so ne before and pas afterward, the whole expression. Il ne lui écrit pas. Let's finish now with the pronoun I. E. I e works with prepositional verbs too, but the preposition now is A, indirect things but just with things and not for people nor animals. Let's take some examples. Again, il va, so he goes or he is going, à l'école, the school, au cinéma, au Nicaragua, a country, and en France, another country. So here, if you want to replace now all these nouns, école, cinéma, Nicaragua, France, Using a pronoun, you are going to use the pronoun I because we've got a prepositional verb with A. So the first il, il y va, and you understand that we are going to have the same sentence for the four examples we've got here. And again, to understand uh, what I refers to, you need the context. Il pense, penser, to think is also a, a prepositional verb in French with the preposition à. Il pense à son travail, so his job, or il pense à sa femme, uh, his wife. Il pense à son travail, travail is a kind of thing, it's not people, it's not person, so il y pense, it works. Il y pense, il think y. But now, femme, you remember that here, it doesn't work with uh, people, this uh, preposition, this uh, pronoun y. So what do we need here to replace il pense à sa femme? Well, the verb penser is... Uh, Specific, actually, because you can't use the third part. You can't say, il lui pense. It doesn't work with the verb penser. In this case, you need to say something like, il pense à elle. So if you want to replace uh, the noun femme with a pronoun, in this case, with the verb penser, it is, il pense à elle. 
You can't say il lui pense. It's not correct French at all. And I have to say that some people in France, even with uh, people, say il y pense. Il pense à sa femme, il y pense. It's not really correct French, but it's something you can hear in France. But the correct sentence is il pense à elle if you want to use a proper pronoun to replace femme here. Okay? To avoid repetition, we don't say j'y irai, but just j'irai. So here, as you can see, we've got twice the sound i, j, and irai. So to avoid that, we just say j'irai. And it works uh, uh, with the future tense of the verb to go in French. So uh, tira, il ira. We don't say il y ira. It is very heavy to speak like that. So just uh, the verb with no um, prep with no pronoun in this case. Okay, so we've seen the four pronouns in this lesson. What we need now is to practice. So some exercise. Go to my website and we will find some. Because now, c'est fini. Alors, au revoir et bon français.